Hi zombies! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you guys all doing? Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so in today's video, uh, I'm basically just doing a get ready with me where I sit down and do my makeup, do my hair, and uh, get my outfit on. <laughs> yeah, so just a regular like get ready with me. I've never done a video like this, but I'm pretty excited about it. So if you guys want to see how I did this look, keep watching. Alright, so as you can see, I don't have any makeup on, I don't have my hair done, I literally just woke up not that long ago, brushed my teeth, changed out of my pajamas, and came down here to do this video. So, um, here we are. Alright, so, get ready with me. Um, so first of all, lose the glasses since I can't wash my face here because I'm in my studio and not in the bathroom I have these these are something these are exfoliating wipes and these are something that I use if I don't have time to wash my face fully it's a little exfoliating wipe but it has like all these little bumps on it and then you just go like this they're just meant to exfoliate your skin and I like these um not only because they exfoliate but also just because they're like nice and refreshing Oh, another thing I have to do is put my hair up so that I can do my makeup without my hair being in my way. So just a little disclaimer as I do this, um, for those of you who normally watch me, you already know I look crazy. <clears throat> but for those of you who normally watch me, you already know that I am not a makeup artist, not a beauty guru, not a hairstylist, not a skin expert not any of those things by any means at all i am not trying to be any of those things i don't want to be any of those things if you are new to my channel and this is the first video you're watching god help you <laughs> hi welcome um but yeah so just as a disclaimer not a beauty guru i'm a musician i'm not very good at makeup this whole video is just for fun nothing too serious so uh yeah just to kind of show you guys my process how, of how I get ready um so after I exfoliated my face now I'm going to moisturize it so I got this moisturizer and it's kind of like old lady it's Olay it's literally the stuff that my grandma used to use So far, it's really helped my skin. I don't have particularly dry skin, so I don't know if it's like actually good for people who have really dry skin, but it works fine for my skin, so that's all I know. Um, okay, so <laughs> this is my makeup bag, and uh, a lot of people, a lot of you know, people who wear makeup have makeup bags that they use for like traveling or when they need to like stay overnight somewhere or if they're doing their makeup on the go but no this is my makeup bag that contains every single makeup item i own i do not have a vanity i do not have like a makeup station where i sit and do my makeup like a lot of people i only wear makeup um probably like three times a week i'm not a person who wears makeup every day but i'm also not one of those people that i'm like Oh, I don't need to wear makeup every day because I'm so beautiful. I should wear makeup every day because I look like a troll 90% of the time. The only reason I don't is because I'm lazy. Um, but yeah, I have a very, very small makeup collection. It literally all fits in that one bag. So, there's that. Okay, so now we're going to use primer. Um, I used to never use primer, but lately I've been getting really into watching beauty gurus. That's actually what inspired this video doing a get ready with me um because I've been watching more beauty gurus and um I've seen like a lot of them do their little get ready with me videos and it's Dang, nobody knows me I'm not as nice as I seem I could cut you down just to watch you bleed I wouldn't feel any why is my face getting redder is that happening or am I imagining that but anyway, yeah, so I've been watching a lot of makeup YouTubers and beauty gurus and stuff like that lately because they really help me with my anxiety, which sounds dorky, but like seriously, if I'm having like a really bad like anxious day and I'm like on the verge of a panic attack, I could watch a beauty guru 
and they just are so they're so distracting and they like pull you into their world and like you know they're just having fun and playing with makeup and it's so entertaining and just like makes you like forget about all the problems in your life it's really nice so <clears throat> i've been watching them a lot lately and uh so i used to never prime my face but since i started watching them i was like i should prime my face everybody else primes their face i bought this elf because i'm a cheap bitch i bought this one blemish control because as you guys can probably already see i do have a fair amount of blemishes um, and honestly, I do want to say that this has helped with my blemishes a little bit. As far as, like, just primer goes, though, I am not in love with it just as a primer, but it has helped with my blemishes. So after that, I'm going to do my foundation. Um, so I just recently bought this, uh, Al Al Alme, Alme, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but this, um, foundation. And, um... It's a really interesting foundation because it like really blends into your skin so it's not the most full coverage. Anything I wouldn't feel, anything I wouldn't feel, anything. Okay, so I pinned my bangs back that way. I have more room to work and I look even more insane than I did before. Midnight strikes, I can't. So, this little all my thing that I just showed you, my foundation, it has this little brush, it's like dirty because I've been using it, but it has this little sponge thing on the end that actually does work to blend it pretty well, um, but I still use a beauty blender for just like the kind of like tight corners and like on my nose and stuff because this is obviously like a big brush to like put on your nose, so I use this like little mini beauty blender for that. When the light hits up. Um, concealer which I use or I have been using this elf 16 hour camo concealer originally I used to use this urban decay concealer I don't remember what it was what the name of it was um, but I really liked it the urban decay one um, and like seriously like I was like in love with the urban decay one so whenever I ran out I was gonna buy more but then I watched the Jeffree Star video where he did like a full face using e.l.f. products and he was like talking about how e.l.f. is like actually pretty good. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna step away from my Urban Decay for a minute and try the e.l.f. So I bought it and I don't know. I honestly, I don't know how I feel about it, but I mean, I do think it's a good concealer and like you can see it like definitely like lightens my eyes and whatnot but it doesn't blend as nicely as I'd like it to but maybe I'm just bad at blending um okay now I'm forgetting the steps of my own makeup routine I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing okay I made myself dizzy I forgot to use this. Um, like I said, I bought a couple e.l.f. products because Jeffree Star was like, they're pretty good and um, I don't know anything about makeup and Jeffree Star does, so I bought what he said was good. So here we are. Um, so this e.l.f. Beauty Shield Daily Defense Makeup Mist is what it's called. I usually put this on before my foundation, but I forgot to, so I'm just going to do it now. I opened my mouth too soon. <laughs> anyway, that's done. Um, so now I'm gonna move on to what do I do next? I literally don't even remember my own makeup routine. Uh, I'm canceled. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I do eyeshadow now, cause why not? So I'm gonna. Um, this is the Morphe. It's dirty. Don't judge me, but this is the Morphe Artistry Palette. I bought it the last time I went to Vegas because I don't online shop and there's not a Morphe in my town, <clears throat> but there's a Morphe in Las Vegas. So when I went to Las Vegas, I was like, hello, Morphe. Um, and honestly, I do really like it. It has like every color you could ever need. I mean, I do have like a couple other eyeshadow palettes that I use, like one that I use a lot of is the Slime Crime Venus 3 palette. 
Um, I use this one a lot, but these two are like my main go-to palettes, <laughs> which again, doesn't mean anything because I'm not even a makeup artist, but in case you guys were curious. Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> I have to use my eyeshadow primer. So this is another Morphe um, product that I bought, which again, I only started using because now I watch Beauty Group and uh, they all seem to use it. So yeah. It's just right. So I did this one all over my lid, and then I'm going to, so I'm going to do like a toned down orange type look. So I'm going to start over here. I don't know any of these shade names, by the way. I don't even know if they like have names. I'm sure they do, but I lost the little slip that goes over the top of them, so no idea. So that's kind of like an orangish goldy color here that I use. So now I'm going to dip into this like oh you can't even see it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna dip into this like matte orange color. I can't even honestly see it that well because <clears throat> I don't have my glasses on, but it's looking orange, which is what I was going for, so we're good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that same orange color that I just washed off my brush for no apparent reason, and I'm going to dip it into this, like, I don't even know what color that is, pink, mauve, maybe, and just kind of boop. I got like five other colors in that, but it makes kind of like a pink orange. I don't know what color that is, but it does that. And then I'm just going to add it over here. So that is my eyeshadow completed. What was I doing? Oh, eyebrows. Okay. So again, elf. Hello. I am using this Ultra Precision Brow Pencil by e.l.f. Um, and this actually broke. This whole thing came out and I just kind of put it back in. So, I don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll see. <clears throat> so, with my eyebrows, I don't really know how to do them. I used to never fill in my eyebrows because I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, but now I kind of just, like I said, follow kind of the natural shape that the people who threaded them gave them. So I kind of just like do that, and like they look kind of better than this side, right? I mean, kind of. So then, I just brush them out. And again, this is not a tutorial. I don't want you guys to think that I'm like telling you this so that you can copy it. Because you guys are probably at home like, why is she telling us how she does her eyebrows when her eyebrows are terrible? But I'm not telling you how I do them so that you can copy me. I tell, I'm telling you how I do them so that you can understand why <laughs> they look so bad when you see me on the street. Oh gosh, and I just like messed it up, so I'm gonna try to brush it out and pretend like that mistake didn't happen. That's about as good as it's gonna get. So that's my eyebrows. Now I'm getting weird for a minute. Okay. Um, eyeliner. Okay, so this is my favorite eyeliner ever. And I've tried like a couple up there brands. Honestly, I have. I've tried the Kat Von D one. I thought it was terrible. 
I've tried an Urban Decay one that was like, meh. But this is the only one that I've ever, like, tried that I was like, this is awesome. So I've been buying it ever since, and this is the Tarte. What is it? Tardiest? It's by Tarte, but it's, like, called Tardiest or something like that. And um, I just really love it. It looks like this. It's amazing. I wear eyeliner a lot, so I really like it. And I really like this one, especially because on this side, it has a little gold, like, stick thing. I'm scratching off my skin because the moon is full again. Also, this isn't a point. I don't know what that is, but just bear with me. You know that you can't deny who you really are inside. So embrace the Yeah, it's laying a little bit too flat. <laughs> Most of the time, your eyeliners just arch up. That didn't happen. That's fun. Anyway, we're gonna do this eye now. And like I said, fight the power, people. Okay. Oh my god, I already made it so long. Why did I make it so long? but this is definitely not the worst that I've ever had in my eyes. Liner, my eyeliner, so we're rolling with it. Okay, <clears throat> so now mascara. Okay, so I'm using this really love um, Benefit Roller Lash. It's amazing. Um, so I'm going to go back once this one runs out and buy like a full size of just this one because it was amazing. Highlighter. I have never really found a highlighter that I loved, um, but at the same time I've never used any like really high-end highlighters, so that's probably why um, I've only ever used, you know, like drugstore highlighters. The one like actual highlighter that I do have was gifted to me, and it's this NYX Illuminator. I don't know, just NYX Illuminator I guess, but honestly I don't really like it that much. It's kind of chalky to kind of show you guys and then I'm gonna put the other thing that I use as highlighter kind of more often on top of it. Um, so we're just gonna go in. It does give me a nice little highlight moment, but I don't know. Sometimes it just looks really weird on my skin. I feel like if my skin's more dry, it just like doesn't really want to work for me. Whatever. So that's like kind of a subtle highlight, I guess. But the thing that I like to use more is this. So LA Colors, it's literally from the dollar store. And uh, what I do is I just kind of dip a little bit into it like that. And then I put it in the lid and kind of mix it all around and tap it off. You have to be very careful, okay? Because this is very intense. It's a really intense moment. See the difference? So that's what I use as my highlighter most of the time. This is the Moods Laura, Laura, Moods Laura Sanchez blush. And I actually really like this. It looks like this. I have really chapped lips all the time because I live in California and it's always hot and I don't drink enough water. And, um, you know, all those good things. So, I have dry lips, or chapped lips a lot, so I like to sometimes put a little bit of chapstick underneath my lip color. And then I'll put on whatever um, lipstick I'm gonna use at the moment. So, I just bought this last night so this is actually like my first time trying it with like actual makeup on and it's the wet n wild again wet n wild because it's cheap it was only five dollars um 
It's the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. It's supposed to be a matte liquid lipstick. And this one is in the color Berry Recognize. <laughs> finished makeup look for the day. I don't bronze or like contour because I don't know how to so this is as good as it's gonna get. Um, and now we're gonna do something with my hair. all it needed is like a little brush I don't think that's too bad um and then unfortunately I'm gonna have to put my glasses back on see this is why I don't like wearing glasses though because you see the glare I hate that which is why I try not to wear them during streaming and YouTube videos and whatnot but too late for that now okay so the last part is to show you guys kind of my outfit for the day and um, then we're gonna be all done with this. So, so for my outfit of the day, it took me a while to decide what I wanted to wear. So I decided to wear my little cat shirt, which I've only actually worn this a couple times since buying it. Print shirt, the cats have glasses. They're adorable. For my pants, I'm wearing these little pinstriped black pants. And then I'm just wearing my black and white bands. Yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Love you. Have a great day. Oh my god. I literally filmed this entire video, got completely done with the outro and everything, and I forgot to do my setting spray setting spray. This works um, in the directions it says use throughout the day under or over makeup as needed. So I use it before I put on my makeup and then I use it after I put on my makeup and I forgot both times. So